Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Frantico Oil video. Today we are gonna go ahead and actually use our tanker, and uh, we're gonna use it to use, to do, to do, to use, we're gonna use it to actually fill it up with oil, and we're actually gonna do the mission this time. So, we're gonna go ahead and take it from here, which is the North Harbor. We're gonna be taking it out to an oil rig, which is actually all the way down here. We can actually choose from either of these. There's one all the way out here, which we buy for one uh, 0.069, and there's one down here that we buy for a little bit more. Uh, I think we might as well go to this one, to be totally honest with you, so that's probably what we'll do today. We're then gonna travel back up here, and we're gonna go ahead and sell it at this place, which is the refinery, uh, where we'll buy diesel. We'll take the diesel from there, and we'll actually sell it somewhere else. Uh, for example, over here, uh, and then we'll do the trip back to the oil rig, and we'll do it again. And hopefully we'll start making some money. Now, we have actually started with 128,000, which is awesome. Uh, that does mean that we've actually already bought this port, uh, we've already bought the tanker, and uh, we're ready to go. So yeah, I've just gone ahead and spawned in the tanker again. We're going to go ahead and get inside, we're going to get this thing moving, and it's going to be awesome. I have actually just fixed this thing, uh, in terms of the ballast pumps do actually work now. Uh, whereas they didn't work before, uh, and it's because they didn't have electricity for some reason. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go, we're going to go ahead and get moving. And uh, it's going to be great. So... Okay, right. <laughs> well, that was good. We automatically blew it up. That is... That is not the best. That's not a good start. It is one of the hazards, though. Um, yeah, it is one of the hazards, definitely. So we're going to go ahead and move away slowly this time. Very slowly, there we go. Uh, we'll actually do this. There we go, so so the bow will actually start moving away by itself. There we go. All right, we're very good now. Go ahead and boost this up to full. Boost this up to full, and uh, off we go. We're gonna turn ourselves all the way around. It's gonna be great. Oh, one thing I should mention as well is, yeah, I fixed the ballast, so we're gonna go ahead and fill it. There we go, awesome. Uh, the front one now works, which is good, and the rear one also works too, so when we are empty, uh, we'll be a lot more stable in the water when our ballast tanks are full. So, there you go. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and turned off the deck lights this time because, obviously, uh, they're very bright. Um, I might need to change the way they work. So, essentially, the way they work at the minute is uh, the lights are obviously pointing this way. Uh, and those spotlights right there are actually classed, or they're, like, part of our deck lights. Um, so, it's kind of interesting the way that works. It, it makes the deck very bright, but, uh, obviously, it blinds us when we're driving. So... We might have to do something with those lights, might have to block them from, like, view from this side, uh, or something like that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we also, actually, now that I think about it, we don't actually have a way of putting our spotlights on, on the roof, which are actually pointing forwards. So, when it's night time, we don't have any lights that point forwards. We don't. So, we won't be able to see in front of us, but, um, I'm sure that's okay. I'm sure that's fine. I just spotted, uh, I just spotted a crate in the ocean. I'm not actually gonna go get that. I'm not actually gonna get it. Uh, we've got enough money as it is, uh, for right now, so we're pretty good. Um, it's lightninging. Okay, interesting. Uh, we're just gonna keep going, because reasons. Yeah. Lower bilge pumps. Oh, that's, uh, that's to empty us. Alright, cool. In case we crash. Which we did crash, and we set on fire. That was bad. What's that? What's that thing? It's a plane! Way! Where's it going? It's going, like, vertical. What are you doing? It's wiggling about because it's windy. That's weird. I've just noticed something. Uh, I'm not actually on the map. Uh, the, I'm around this location right here because obviously the uh, the refinery's right there. So I'm obviously about this place. I I'm about here. So um, we don't have any waypoint either. I have marked a waypoint on the map, but there is no waypoint in game. So uh, I think we're in sort of like a hardcore, I guess, kind of thing. I can turn it on to be a rogue mode, but I don't think I want it to be a rogue mode. Also, there's an AI ship right there. Kind of cool. Anyway, uh, I did turn on the deck lights again because it was getting quite dark. We will probably go to bed again uh, to try and make it daytime again. And maybe the weather will change to be a little bit nicer. That would be awesome. Uh, but we're going to continue uh, around the top of this island. We're going to come down here. We're going to try and spot these, these islands. Uh, and then we're going to travel past those to get to this. Uh, and hopefully, that all works out fine, because it should. Okay, so I do believe we are actually heading in the right direction. Uh, over there is actually uh, Terminal Komodo, so 
Uh, if we have a little look at the map, there's Terminal Komodo. Uh, if we look further left, then obviously we get to those islands. And those are the islands we need to pass in order to actually get to the oil rig. Now, I could go to either oil rig. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, we spend more money if we go to this one. And we spend more, less money go to, going to this one. Uh, and I don't think we really spend less or more or less fuel. We don't spend that much more or that much less fuel. But to be fair, we don't actually spend that much more money on the oil if we go to this one. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue all the way down to here. And uh, we're going to fill up, which is going to be awesome. Uh, and then we're going to head back up to the, um, the refinery. And we're going to go ahead and make some money, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. So I'll, I'll get back to you guys probably when we've got to these islands. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I can actually see where we're going. Uh, if you look a little bit past these lights, it's very difficult to actually see. Uh, we're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna go to sleep, and, uh, we're gonna wake up in the morning, and hopefully we'll be able to see things. And hopefully we're also not upside down, so I'm gonna open up all of these. Uh, I'm not gonna abide by the laws of actually closing them, which, um, is silly, but whatever. We're gonna make it daytime. We're gonna run back through all of those doors anyway. We'll close them on the way back, and uh, we'll be good. So, we've woken up. There we go. Awesome. We're gonna close the doors on the way back, because that makes sense. There we go. Uh, the likelihood of us actually crashing into something while I'm while I'm running around down here is, is minimal anyway. So, uh, let's go ahead and close all those up. Let's go ahead and jump up here. Jump into the helm. Alright, awesome. Uh, and that means we can then close this door, close this door, and we'll keep going. So... Uh, if we look that way, you can actually see the oil rig we're going to. It's the big one. Uh, and if we look that way, uh, there's the other one. Right there. Which is the small one. So, we're going to make it to the big one today. Uh, we've used quite a lot of fuel. I'm not going to lie. We've used a lot of fuel actually getting here. Uh, but we've been in waves and it obviously hasn't been that good. But, um, yeah, fuel consumption will be going up a little bit probably because we're, not long we're no longer in waves. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to continue. Uh, we'll be there in no time. So, yeah. Cool. Well, um, that's interesting. Uh, there's a fire. Okay, we're going to go help out. <laughs> we're going to go help out with a fire because we're an oil rig. I mean, an oil tanker. That makes sense, doesn't it? It doesn't make any sense. Um, but we'll put out their fire. We just won't be doing any rescuing because we can't take them anywhere. So, um, there's no point in rescuing them. But we will try and put out their fire. You'll just have to get rescued by someone else, dude. You'll have to get rescued by someone else. It, it's going to be okay. Don't you worry. All right, we can't get too close because obviously we'll die. Um, but here we go. Right, so we're going to grab one of these because it's kind of useful. We're going to close this up. We're going to open this. Close it. Very good. We're going to put firefighting equipment just in case we need it. We don't really need it. Uh, we're going to grab a hose. Um, actually, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Drop this on the floor. There we go. Grab a hose. Touch it on it there, press B, and we can put out the fire from here. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna put you out, don't worry. Everything is fine. Everything's completely fine, don't you worry. I don't know if this will work. I, I really don't know if this will work. We might have to go on the boat anyway, uh, to put out the rest of the fire, but we've put out a lot of it just like this. Alright, yeah, this isn't really working. Go ahead and put that back. Go ahead and grab this one. We're gonna jump aboard and uh, we're gonna rescue these guys. It's gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Don't worry, guys. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. You're just a bit hot. That's all. How do I even get on your boat? How do I get on this boat? It's so high. It's so tall out the water. What the heck? Whoa. Alright, jump. Jump again. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. I don't know. I don't know how to get on this thing. I don't know how to get... Is there any seats on the edge? Can I jump in a seat? Is that a seat? Looks like a seat. There we go. Alright, put this out. Here we go. Here we go. I just need to put this bit out and that's it. Can I? Can I even? That woman's about dead. She's almost dead. Alright, put it out, put it out, put it out. Doesn't want to go out. The fire wants to... Oh, there we go. We did it. We did it. Alright, awesome. You guys are all staying on board. Not gonna lie. Uh, we'll just put you in the beds, because, um, you're, you're almost dead, uh, but beds save lives, so there you go. Alright, put you in there, that's awesome, uh, and you're actually fully healed. So, we're gonna get out of here now, um, remember, buy Frantico oil, yeah! Alright, we're gonna be back on our way now, because obviously we, uh, we, we fixed those guys up, we actually did a really good job there, uh, which is awesome, actually. We're gonna go ahead and put, uh, our uniform back, there we go. 
Uh, we'll put the fire extinguisher back upstairs once we get upstairs. If we can. Here we go. Alright, jump on there. Close this up. Awesome sauce. And the fire extinguisher can go back. In there. Alright, nice. Let's get going. Off we go. Off we go indeedy. Nice. Alright, so we're going to the yellow one. We are not going to the red one. Let's go. Oh, no, please. Okay, so what someone said in the comments down below is obviously if there's fire at the top of the oil rig, then um, obviously it's working. It's actually burning off the uh, the oil. So, um, yeah, we don't see a fire. There's, there's, there's actually no fire there. So I'm not entirely sure if we are going to get filled up with oil or not here. Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting. We are probably... Oh, we have a reverse gear, right? We do. We put that in last time. Oh, we had one already. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves inside the oil rig pretty much. Um, and we're just going to lower the hose onto the top. Uh, and that makes sense to me. If there is no oil, which I don't think there's going to be, which is kind of annoying. Um, then we've got an issue. We might just go to bed and then hope that in, an in another day there's going to be oil. But I, I really don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. We're going to drift forwards the remaining power we have. Okay, let's go a little bit further. If possible. There we go. Alright, fine. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and we've drove all the way into here. That's good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our, our things down again. Obviously, our anchors. Uh, because we can. We just need to turn it on, actually. And hope that it attaches to something. Because it might. There we go. All right, we're attached. Good. Yes. All right, so uh, we need to go upstairs, and we need to see if there's oil. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's actually on this side, so we've parked on the wrong side. But uh, it does actually say crude oil seller. Sell price is 1069, uh, and it's ready. So I guess we just attach a hose to one of these. Let's go ahead and grab a hose. We'll attach it to one of these, and we'll jump overboard, and we'll attach it on, and hopefully it'll work. All right, there we go. We're down on our boat. Let's go ahead and attach it up to there. That seems fine. And then we'll go ahead and press fill. I'll flow it in. And cargo tank says zero. Hold on. The other way. Cargo tank says zero. Again. Again. Okay, so I tried it on the other side as well. And it doesn't work on this side either, which is super duper annoying. It's super annoying. So uh, the way that we can actually test whether it's my boat or whether it's the oil rig is we go ahead and we attach the... Oh, God. We're going to leave this attached to here right now. Hold on. Idea. We're going to leave that attached to there. That's fine. Leave that off. All right. Very good. We're going to grab ourselves a new hose. We're going to put it up there. Okay. We're going to attach it to here. All right. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press fill. Okay, so fluid in. Very good. We're going to turn this on. And it starts pumping fluid into our tanks. Very good. Then what do we do? Then we go ahead and we do this. We press fluid out. And the problem is, I don't know if we can push fluid straight back out of there. Uh, so, <laughs> so am I stuck now? I, I don't... Oh, actually, hold, hold on. I can press B. And we can just shoot it all out. There we go. So we're going to get rid of all of this. Purely by firing it off our boat. So our pumps do actually work. Um, they pump in and they pump out. It's just a problem with the oil rig not giving us any oil. So we need to figure that out. How do we buy oil? All right, we got it back to zero. That's awesome. Right, so store the hose. This is attached, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and slap this on fill. Okay, and uh, we're going to wait. So... I don't know what we're waiting for, though. I don't really know how to do this. We're going to go to sleep. Uh, and we're going to actually go to sleep on the oil rig. Um, because reasons. All right, so we're on the oil rig. Let's go ahead and go to sleep, I think, uh, for a few days, I guess. We're going to go to sleep for, free, for a few days. Uh, and hopefully the oil rig will start pumping oil very soon. I hope so. I really don't know, though. Okay, uh, so essentially I ran round to the back of this and this now says pump it I don't think it did on the other one previously the other day, but uh, it says pump so you have to turn it on Interestingly enough. Uh, are we losing money? We are not are we we are we're losing money Okay, that means that we are actually pumping okay. For, oh wow. It's wavy. It is wavy. All right We're gonna jump down uh, and we're gonna get on our little boat 
Uh, we will need to actually empty our uh, our ballast tanks as we fill up with crude oil. So let's have a little looky right here. It is filling up at 3,000 out of 51,000. Um, yeah, all right, this is totally going to work. We can actually fill up two ice as quick. We can fill up twice as quick. Let's go ahead and attach this hose uh, to there. And we'll run it up to the... T whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was just firing crude oil out of my hose. That doesn't make sense. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this anyway. Let's let's hope for the best here. I wish they made this easier. Uh, actually, running with a hose drags you back towards the end, and I'm not entirely sure why. But uh, if you go sideways, I, I feel like it works a little bit better. So run sideways to the, to the ladder. There we go. And then as soon as we... Oh, it drags you back. It's super annoying. There we go. As soon as we get to the ladder, we can actually climb it. And hopefully we end up on top. Otherwise, I'm going to cry. There we go. All right, very good. So we run with this line. Oh, no. Can I not get upstairs? All right. Oh, I almost fell off. I... I can't... Get up the stairs. All right, well, we'll just have to jump off then. But essentially, we can actually run three lines from this oil rig into our tanker, so it fills up quicker. Uh, and I actually really like the idea of that, so... Um, again, actually, there's no fire on this one. And, th and there should be, but I, I don't get it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to here. We're gonna run over to the edge. Uh, and this is where things get interesting. So if you're at this one, and you park where I park, you can actually jump here, jump crouch, and you end up on this bar, and then you just walk off the edge. <laughs> and that's, that's the easiest way to actually get off of the oil rig. It is. It's the easiest way. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and go up these ladders if we can ever get to them. There we go. Fantastic. And attach it to there. All right, good. Nice. And then press fill. All right, so it's filling. If I press fluid out, it's quicker. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Turn this off. All right, okay, and then press fluid in. And it is actually filling. All right, cool. If I go to this side, it's still filling. If I press fluid in, it goes way faster. Interesting. All right, cool. This is working. It's totally working. All right, so currently we are obviously at 20,000 liters. We're going to go upstairs in the boat, and we're going to start emptying our bilge pumps. Uh, because we've only got, I think, about... Ooh, is it 10,000? It might be 10,000 liters in, in, in like, total for build, uh, for ballast, sorry. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and empty those out. And as our cargo tank fills, this will empty and will be a lot more stable. There you go. Anyway, I am going to go ahead and end this video here for now. In the next one, we will probably be going to the refinery uh, to sell this crude oil. And um, it'll be great. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.